Hi, this is John with Silver Food Cardboard. Back doing a video on my T206 tobacco card collection. First, I wanted to show you a book that I came across. I uh, saw this on eBay a couple months ago. Uh, it's a book from that time period, uh, dating back to 1911 when it was published. Pretty neat, so it's kind of a written in that time frame and talks about the earliest days of baseball to the present season of uh, 1910 is what they cover. Uh, so, really cool. We'll take a look at it here. And like I said, this book, it's in pretty rough condition. Um, what I like about it is the history of baseball that it actually covers. So it goes back to the early days where it discusses uh, Round ball, uh, town ball, Boston baseball, and has a little diagram there. And then it'll talk about the uh, uh, batting champ race of 1910 between Ty Cobb and Napoleon Lajouet, where it was you know down to fractions uh, of a percentage, and Cobb actually won it, and then uh, won a car for being the uh, leader in batting that particular year. So I like to tie my collection together um, with pieces of the time frame. But there's another reason why I purchased this because as we all know, Joe Shoeless Joe Jackson was not in the T206 um, set, but he did play around that particular time frame. He played Started in 1908 with the Philadelphia Athletics. Played five games in 1908 and five games in 1909, and then Connie Mack traded him. So what's really cool is there's two pictures of Shoeless Joe Jackson from that time frame that's in this book here. So if you take a look here, Shoeless Joe Jackson on the New Orleans Club, he is number 12. So I don't have a Shoeless Joe Jackson baseball card, and this is the closest that I can get to it right now. I've got a picture from that time frame. So pretty neat. I was uh, really happy to get this book, even though it's in pretty rough condition. So let's take a look here. We've got one more picture. So they're talking about the upcoming 1911 season, and as you can see right there, Joe Jackson, starting outfielder for the 1911 series, uh, season for the Cleveland uh, Club. So really cool. And like I said, I like to kind of tie that in with my T206 collection. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, my T206 collection. Thanks. All right, let's get this started. So... Uh, my collection of T206s started in December of 2017, and this was the very first card that I got. So Hugh Jennings, Hall of Famer. And the two ungraded cards that I have is Hell Chase, New York, and Sleepy Bill Burns. Moving on. So these are two of the six horizontal cards. So this is Joe Birmingham. And George Mullen. So I started also uh, looking into some of the backs and the more rare backs. Uh, actually, here's another ungraded card that I have. So this is Sweeney. And I picked this card up for the back. Cycle cigarettes. 460 subjects. And then Home Run Baker. So this is another card with a rare back. And that's 
that's the American Beauty. Another rare back here is Lee Tannehill. And that's the Sovereign Cigarettes, 150 subjects. I picked this up, this next card, Larry Doyle, for a couple of reasons. So, number one, just a cool looking card. And number two, the back. So, moving on, this is going to be a Piedmont, Arley Latham. Jim Stevens, neat looking card. Look at the size of that glove. <laughs> that is incredible. Jack Hannafan. So these are just some common players. Picked them up for really subject matter. Taking a look at the you know that prior card, the the glove. Just taking a look at you know the the uniform and the bat of the day. Here's one. This is uh, Boss Schmidt from Detroit in a portrait. So it's pretty interesting the, the way you can collect them. You know, you can collect a lot of the portraits if you wanted to, horizontal cards, Southern League players, minor league players. Um, you know, out of the 500 and some cards. It's really interesting how you can collect these and there's Doc Crandall Back there um, This one's an interesting looking card here. This is Dick Egan from Cincinnati And Fred Tenney. So I like this set. You know, obviously it's a 110-year-old set. There's a lot of choices to collect. Um, a lot of resources. It's probably one of the most studied sets out there of baseball cards. So there's a Bob Hall with Baltimore. Here's another card that I like for the... Uh, this is Beals Becker. So this one here you take a look at. Um, subject matter, again. Good looking card. I like this card because of the, the colors here. So this is Wild Bill Donovan from uh, Detroit. Just beautiful colors there for a card that's, you know, 110 years old almost. Um, here's another one here. This is uh, Red Kleino, I believe is how you pronounce that. So a catcher showing the catcher's garb from back in the day. And here is Matty McIntyre, Detroit outfielder with Ty Cobb. Beautiful background of that pink there. It's actually one of my higher grades there in a, in a five. Here's Bobby Byrne. Beautiful looking card. And Black Sox in 1909. This is one of the pitch pitchers there. So Eddie Seacott. All right. And now we're going to move on to the Hall of Famers. All right, let's take a look at some of the Hall of Famers here in the T206 collection that I have. 
So take a look here. We've got Miller Huggins. Famous coach of the 1920s Yankees. John McGraw. So interesting stat looking up this. He's actually third all time on on base percentage behind Ted Williams and Babe Ruth. Here is Frank Chance. This is the portrait image. with the Cubs and next up is the portrait of Rube Waddell that's a beautiful looking card SGC 4 very good excellent and next up is the portrait of Rube Marquard. So I think I said this in, uh, I had the, he, him in another video of mine um, with my top cards of all time. And uh, he was the last of the players in the T206 selection to pass away. He passed away in the summer of 1980, I believe. Next up, Hall of Famer, Eddie Collins. A 2.5. Underrated player here, but love that portrait. So next up is two cards from Napoleon Lajaway. And we have, take a look here, one graded and one ungraded card, both in the portraits. And next one up from Boston is Trish Speaker. Beautiful colors in that card, but you can see it's got a crease going right down the center there in front of his face. But still love it. Beautiful card. Rookie card of Trish Speaker. And next card up is Cy Young. And you guys have seen some of these cards on my top cards of all time collection here. Um, so the last two, this is going to be the Ty Cobb bat off shoulder. And that's a polar bear back. And then finally, is the T206 red portrait. So I'm missing the green portrait and the bat on shoulder. Um, I've looked at them. The, the green portrait is, I don't know, I think I might be priced out of that one. It's a polar bear back here. So let me line them all up and take a final look at them. All right, let's take a look at all the T206 laid out. So that's everything that I have so far. All right, appreciate it. Thanks for watching.